What's up, girly? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to the mall and going to get my toes done. Remember, we're getting ready all this week for my first ever solo trip. If you're new here, my name is Michael. I'm 24. I love the color pink. I'll be 25 in July, but I'm taking my first ever solo trip here real, real soon. So we're spending this week getting ready for it. Today, I need to go get a pedicure on my toes and then I'm gonna go hit up the mall and just see if they have any like cute clothes I can wear while I'm out there. I'm also gonna be doing a lot of vlogging for TikTok today so that's gonna be so much fun. Also want to show you something that I did in my charm bracelet. So a little charm bracelet update. Remember this bracelet I made for my keys? Oh wait you can't even see it. Um I put my cat's picture in it so there is my first one with my mini baby. There is my other one with Tamari. It's like backwards. Oh my gosh that is so annoying. I think I need to take it off and put it back on there but like when you have it flipped down like this way you can see it really clearly. Anyways here's just a little fit. I'm just gonna wear some um Crocs while I go get my pedicure and then I'm gonna come back to the house because it's on the way and I'll switch to some like cuter shoes so I can go to the mall real quick. It's Wednesday so I hope it's not too busy. My lashes look good today so that means we're gonna have a good day. I feel good about my makeup and stuff too. I need to go pick up some more makeup before I go out of town. There's a lot of stuff I need to pick up but um I didn't shave my face today and I feel like the makeup did good at like covering that. I do have laser hair removal whenever I get back from vacation so that will be so exciting. Eventually I won't have to shave like as much and then hopefully I won't have to shave ever again. What's up girly? When I got my toes done then I came back to a little outfit change and I just got home from the mall. Let me show you every store I went to. I went to American Eagle. I went to Sephora and then I went to I don't know what this store is called. Some store I never really heard of but it's in my TikTok vlog or um, Instagram, Facebook, if you're on any of that. We'll start with Sephora because it's obviously like the most exciting. The first thing I got, which I already took out the box, was my first ever Dior lip oil. These look really nice. They're so cute. This is the shade pink. I'm also super bloated because I ate like a ton of Chinese food while I was there. Well, I think it was Thai food. I ate a bunch of Thai food. But um, actually, fun fact, I had to run back in Sephora because I, I wanted to put this on in the car and... Whenever I got to the car, I realized I grabbed like a lipstick, not a lip oil. So I had to go do a little exchange and there was no other lip oils in the front. So I thought I got lucky whenever I found it. But she was like, we keep them all in the back. So I wonder if that's because of the 10 year olds. But I love this big loofah. And it smells really good. It tastes really good. It's kind of got like a slight mintiness to it. Just like slight. But I just wanted, I needed a new purse lip gloss and I wanted a really nice lip oil. And so I was like, you know, everyone raves about the Dior ones. So I also got this Patrick Ta um, blush. It's a cream blush and a powder blush. And I so regret, like as soon as I left them all, I regretted not getting the brush that came with it. There was a brush, it was like a double-ended brush. Like one was perfect for the cream side, one was perfect for the powder side. So... If I have time, I might go before my trip and try to get that. I don't think it would be at Ulta, unless they got something similar. I do need to go to Ulta before my trip, although I don't really have a reason to go back to Sephora. But look, Patrick Ta, which I'm not really, like, um, that kept up with beauty influencers, but, I mean, like, the makeup girls. But look, here's how you, or how do you open it? I was gonna say, here's how you open it, but I don't know how. Okay, you open it like this. And then it's just got a cream blush and this gorgeous pink blush. So I thought these two shades would be like awesome for me. And I really wanted to like practice with the cream blush. Is there something over it? Oh yeah, there's something over it. Oh, so that stays over it always. There's like a little clear thing that you can always flap up and down. But, ooh, okay, pigment. Yeah, I just rub that on my leg and it looks crazy. But I don't want to waste it, so we'll keep it how it is. I do regret not getting that brush though. Like, if I could turn back town, I would get the blush. I got two more things from there. So, they're both from So de Janeiro. I got this little spray, which they said a while back they were going to send me some stuff, and I'm still waiting, which I didn't know if I would love this or not. I was trying not to overspray in the store because there were so many people, but no, it smells so good. I do like this. Black, Amber, Plum, and Vanilla Woods. But yeah, this flavor smells really good. Number 40. And... I just had to get it for the little collection. I collect those, specifically the minis. And then I saw this at the self-checkout. And I wasn't going to get it, but there was one thing that convinced me to get it. This is their body cream. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah, body cream helps... I saw that it helps maintain youthful skin, deeply moisturizes. But, it says it has retinol mimicking oil. So, I was like, oh, this might actually be really good for your skin. You know, like, better than a Bath & Body Works one. So, let me know if you recommend these or if you've tried, like, 
body lotions like this. I want to smell it. I can't lie. It don't smell like there's sprays. <laughs> I thought it would smell like number 68 or something. No, this is, it smells really boring, but hopefully it's really good for your skin. It does not have like a very, it says 68 fragrance, but maybe it's just because I just sprayed that other thing, but it does not have a strong smell like 68. That was all at Sephora. I want to show you this one. I think it's called Altered State. That's what it's called. And I found like this really cute outfit that I kind of just pieced together. They like really wrap everything really nice. Oh yeah, that's what it's called. Altered State. So I found, and I might wear this tomorrow because I totally forgot, I have to go to the Simpsonville outlets near me because Michael Chorus, the outlet store there, invited me to come pick out a bag or do something for a fun video. So I might wear this tomorrow. But it's just these blue flowy shorts, you know, like my favorite type of shorts ever. So that's so cute. And then I got this matching and the colors are almost like spot on matching, like Cinderella blue, um, size medium, just plain sweatshirt. I thought that would look cute together because it's not like warm warm yet. Usually in the summer summer I wear um like tank tops and um jerseys a lot of stuff like that but I'm kind of wearing like hoodies and I like wearing shorts like a short and hoodie combo is really cute. So this store is American Eagle and I got a sweatshirt and two pairs of shorts which I'm not sure how I feel about everything I bought from here honestly but I really like the fit of these sweatshirts. So this one says aluminum I don't really know what that means but I really like the sleeves how they look and it just looked really fitting like this would look really cute with just any like black pair of shorts now these ones are exactly like what I'm wearing right now so you see how they're crisp over in the front that's exactly like the black shorts on that I have on right now it's kind of hard to see because I'm got black on black but see they're crisscross over in the front so I, this was the first store I went to I wanted them in white but they did not have my size in white so that was upsetting so I got that pink maybe I can find something cute to go good with that and this is where I get confused I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a good outfit for this but let me know what you think these are kind of like a brownish but it's almost giving like a yellow like it's not my favorite color ever I'm gonna honestly leave the tags on these ones and if I can't find a cute outfit for it to go with I'm returning it because these are like, well, I think these are just like 30 something. I think last summer they were more expensive, but like, um, the sweatshirt, like that blue sweatshirt was 70 and then the shorts that go with it are like 50. Like that outfit was expensive. And then I believe this was like, how much was this? Yeah, this was 50. So honestly, I'm not sure if I love these two pairs of shorts. The, like this was just kind of random like these are like pieces not really outfits but like this little outfit that I put together I think it's so cute and I'm gonna wear it tomorrow just like a little test run but let me go ahead and put those in the bag for now and then I'm going to go edit my TikTok let's see what this outfit looks like real quick should we do that should we just see it this outfit is like everything I thought it was going to be so let me show you a little bit closer here is just the blue outfit. I need to tie this tie so it's not hanging so much. But I just thought this was a cute little, like, um, lazy outfit, I guess. <laughs> I'll probably wear this tomorrow. If you don't like feet, look away. I wanted to show you my French tip pedicure real quick. So here we go. My feet get a little bit veiny just depending on, like, the angle. But I think that the French tip looks so good. See, I got that little scar on my toe. I think that happened when I was like five years old, like real young. But I just wanted to show you that in case you are like a nail person. What's up, girlie? I'm headed to the Michael Kors store for my little visit. And first, I need to stop and get something at Duncan. Shit, I'm doing a TikTok. I just forgot about that. I wanted to get a clip of the menu. Can I get you? Um, can I get a strawberry dragon fruit refresher? A medium? And then can I also just get an order of hash browns? All right, anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay, what else? Thank you. Okay, thanks. I just wanted to get a little like recording of the thing from my TikTok. Oh my gosh, the thing is still messed up. Remember last time I came here, it was like, I was like, is it safe to be under this? It's still like that. <sighs> okay, let me stop this route for a second. I'm going to be like, maybe five minutes late because I told them I'd be there about noon or by noon something like that but um I think it's okay I'm gonna do Apple Pay yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You too. All right, that drink actually looks pretty cute. Let's see. Can I park right here for a second? There's no one in the drive-thru. I don't want to go up to the very end of the street. Get a little TikTok clip. Shoot. Hurry up and get in these TikTok clips. Or anybody pulls up. Okay. So, this drink, which obviously needs a mix. We'll try it. We'll let those hash browns cool down for a second. Let's get the GPS back going. Yeah, it already says two minutes late, so I just like think I'll probably be about five minutes late. It's a big place, so I gotta find. It's the Michael Kors outlet at the Simpsonville's. If you're in the area, you know that spot, but they did I even like explain it to you? Did I? I don't know. But I kind of forgot it was today until yesterday. But I'm so glad I didn't plan it on like when I was going on my trip. But um, pretty much they just invited me because they're all like really big fans. They wanted me to come like say hi. And I think that they said they have like a gift for me. So they said that they wanted, I think that they wanted me to do a video or it'd be fun if I did a video or something like that. But um, they want to help me pick out like a new bag from their new collection their spring slash summer collection now truth be told I don't need to like buy a bag so I hope that they're just like gifting me something because I I just got this Louis purse like I don't need a purse if I buy something it's not going to be for me it'll be like for my mom but um if they gift me something like I'll take that you know that would be really cute but I want to check and see if they have these boots that my mom really wanted there too like I'll go ahead and ask them while I'm there uh, merging on the highway Mix this drink a little bit more and then we'll try it. Pretty good. I have like mouthwash in my mouth. It just doesn't mix well, but the mouthwash in my mouth will fade away. Let's see if I can get these down. But I got a hash brown. It was a little burnt. Pretty good. I guess it'd be better with some sort of sauce. But I just need something to eat so I don't pass out while I'm there. What's up, really? I just left the Michael Kors store. I'm so sorry I didn't vlog in there for YouTube. But I did do a um, TikTok vlog. I don't know if I'll include that or not. But I want to go ahead and show you the cute stuff they gifted me. They gifted me some stuff and then I bought one thing. So let me show you what they gifted me first. They gifted me, look at this. It's a Michael Chorus candle. And he said they're pretty like limited edition type deal. Like they were, um, I forget what he said. Like they were not really made or something. But they like sent a bunch out. And so this is a Michael Chorus candle. And it smells heavenly like this smells amazing so i thought that was such a cute and thoughtful gift like i loved it everyone there was so nice i'm gonna have to come back and vlog some more and meet them all again because i mean these are like friend material people now whenever i go out of town remember i'm changing my life and whenever i come back i want to try to have friends so uh, i'm just definitely gonna remember everyone at the store they also gave me this michael chorus wallet right here this pink slim wallet this is like perfect and so cute put my id right there and then my cards that's like all that i carry around and then they gifted me a letter so just a letter from all of them so i went ahead and read that and i'm going to keep it forever and ever but i'm not going to read it to you and then this is what i bought for myself oh i forgot to say inside the wallet was a gift card it was an 80 dollars gift card and john that was his name the guy who like emailed me and got me to come up there um he said that you are never supposed to give someone an empty wallet you're supposed to give someone a wallet with something in it whether it's like cash or gift card you know so they gave me an 80 dollars gift card and i had already been eyeing these sunglasses like since i walked in and these sunglasses were like 75 so it's still like five dollars on the gift card but i went ahead and bought them they're these michael chorus sunglasses look how cute they are these are absolutely perfect for my hilton head trip and it was just so fun to like get to go there and be around people who were embracing me and like kind of talk to them and it was so much fun and I definitely want to go back and visit them. Oh my gosh. 
It says 150, so it says 150, but that is not how much they were. Anyways, let's go ahead and head home. I did get a little bit rained on. It started pouring while I was there, and they were like, so sorry, it's like not a good day, like a beautiful day, and I was like, it's okay. Like, we're definitely gonna plan something in the future. Those people were just so cool. Like, I'll come back, do a big shopping haul just for this entire mall, and I get to see them again. Let's get the directions home. Turn on these windshield wire first. 35 minutes. Okay. Well, better start chucking it. I'm back from the Michael Kors store, obviously. I've only been home for like probably less than an hour. I'm really hungry, about to eat, but I got two packages, so they are swimming trunks. I got two pairs, make sure it's not showing my address. I got two pairs of women's swimming trunks and one men's pair. But I'm really hoping that they all are really good, so we're gonna try women's first and then we'll try the men's but let's go ahead and show you all of them first so these are all on amazon so whichever ones are really good i'll put in my storefront here's the men's pair these honestly look like pretty good for me like they're short enough how i like it and they have a tie and they're pink on the inside so it's got like a little bit of pink but some black so i think i'm gonna like these men's ones worst comes to worst i can order another pair like that i'm just assuming based off looks that those would fit me good but i am gonna try it on in just a second let's see what the women's looks like because i feel like they were more flattering in a way okay i feel like this is gonna work too so look these are like kind of high-waisted and they also have like that double layer i mean i think all swimming trunks have that but i got that black color and then I think this is a navy blue. I actually, um, I like blue on me because I have blue eyes. I think that it looks pretty good. Here's this pair. Let's go ahead and, oh, they stink. Oh my God. These ones, not so bad, but those two, ugh, it smells like when you order something rubbery from Timu. I had like thought about it one night. I was like, I don't have any swimming trunks really. So here's the first pair, the like black pair. And they also have this pink underneath. So isn't that really cute? Oh my gosh, it's even got like a pocket spot. I like this pair. This pair is not bad at all. The only thing is it hangs, um, <clears throat> it hangs below. Oh, you see me in the background. <laughs> That's always the case in this room. There's too many mirrors. It hangs below my belly button, so it's not like high-waisted, and I feel like very Y2K, but it also, um, I like to have shorts come up to here, so it like adds to the curve with like, I don't know, you know? I mean, no one should ever feel bad about any of that. That's just me talking. Oh, I think these are it. The women's are so fitting. So they're like really tight up top. I don't even have to tie it. They go above the belly button, just like I like it. Like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I think that's more flattering for my body type. I mean, I know my body type is pretty slim and basic, but if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Let's try on the navy blue just real fast. Oh wait, the shorts underneath? Yeah, there's shorts underneath. Okay, let's try on the navy blue. So happy. I think I got like the perfect swimming trunk. So these two pairs, the black and the navy blue are women's and the other ones are men's and I like the women's better. I really do. I think they fit me so much better, which I honestly had a sneaky feeling they would. These are perfect to just like wear around the beach or whatever but um yeah i'm gonna link this in my amazon storefront so you can check these out because they are just like seriously those swimming trunks if you're a girl and you like wearing trunks like you would definitely enjoy these too they're baggy on the waist so like i mean on the legs so some girls like tight kinds and they have tight kind but you know i need a little bit baggy because after all i am a boy these ones are just cute in general like i'm definitely gonna take them and wear them I think three pairs is enough. I'm only staying like four nights, so I'm definitely good in that department. What's up, girly? I'm making some bagels, so I think they're about done. They should be toasty enough. Dang, my cat. What y'all doing? So I had um, one of my neighbors come over, like the maintenance guy, and he is going to feed my pet, so I showed him how to do that, like my fish and my cats, how I like to do it. I also showed him how to like clean up the area around it just so I don't come back to like a big mess like no one wants that from their trip but um let's make this big one I'll tell you my trip planning for the day and for the next couple days okay I thought I was recording but I'm not I'm just like pretending to be that lady from the cartoon who doesn't have a head because I want you to see me put the bagel together I had started talking about what I was doing and now uh, I don't think you heard any of that anyways um today we're gonna go to Ota and then we're gonna go to Meyer because I'm going to post the Meyer video today. I'm just giving you like a look inside my head, kind of. 
I want to post the Meyer video today and the Ulta video tomorrow because today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. And then I can focus on, that way tomorrow, Saturday, I'll be able to focus on just packing and recording myself packing because obviously I want to do like that for TikTok probably. And I can also focus on getting this video posted so I can start like a new vlog. And um, I don't know how all that's going to look yet, but I do know that I need to do Ota and Meyer today. I know that tomorrow... I need to focus on packing, so I'll post, like, the Ota video tomorrow, because I want to post my packing videos, like, as I'm headed there, like, maybe my first day. Like, I don't want my first day there to be like, oh, shoot, I need to post a video tonight, you know? I want to have the packing videos kind of ready to go, so that's what I'm going to do on this Sunday. I'm just going to be preparing to leave, because I'm going to leave Monday at, like, really late in the night, so that way, um, well, I'm leaving, like, Sunday really late in the night, like, Monday morning. Just so that way I can drive mostly during dark times and I don't have to hopefully deal with too many drivers out there. Bagels are done, they look so good. Also, I feel like my makeup looks pretty good today. I'm pretty happy with it. But anyways, I do all that, like video planning, so that way I can go kind of relax my first day and stuff. I'm just, Cat, get down, that's hot. My cat's trying it right now. Anyways, I just want to be really prepared for this trip, so. Um, maybe I'll post this video before I leave, so give me any advice, any, um, thing that you think I could be leaving out, like anything I could be missing. I'll show you tonight what I get from Meyer and stuff, and then I gotta pull out the suitcases, like, tomorrow, probably. When something horrible happened to my nails last night. These nails are almost, like, two weeks grown, which, you know, I felt like wasn't really a problem just going on this little trip, but, um, my natural nail under this one, the middle finger tried to get it to focus it like broke so this one has glue underneath it but this middle finger it like was lifting so i peeled it so i'm scared that the nail might be weaker like this middle finger and maybe there's like a chance of it breaking but there's so many nail salons where i'm going and i think my resort has like a nail salon in it so hopefully they're really good maybe i can get my nails done while i'm out there something else horrible happened last night so my nose ring got caught on my nails i was washing my face it was like 2 a.m i was super sleepy and i was washing my face and it got caught and it like ripped all the way out and i don't know if you can tell it's still like a little bit red just a little bit sore but i'm so glad it wasn't worse it like bent my whole nose ring like almost freaking straight and i had to like bend it back and it was horrible but it was a little bit scary makes you think like oh you gotta be real real careful when you have a nose ring not that i haven't had one since i was 16 but yeah, it's been like eight years since I got my nose pierced. I actually took a two-year period where I took out my nose ring just for a stupid job. But then I ended up getting it re-pierced in the exact same spot. So, a little fun fact. What's up, girly? I just left Ota. Something crazy happened. So, I'm just putting you up there because I don't feel like fully strapping you in yet. But, um, it wasn't that crazy. This guy was just walking around selling these little things. So, they were $10 each. But he says that he, like, blesses them or something. I'll have to re-watch the video because I, like, recorded him explaining it. But Mr. Ali, and on the back it has his phone number for more. I'm not sure he'd want me putting his phone number on the internet, but he's in the 502 and I don't know. Like he might want his number out there, but he he might underestimate how big my following is and stuff. But <laughs> he was like, if that video goes viral, let me know on what half. I was like, I got you. But um, I just felt like doing something nice. These are pretty cute, you know. I'll go home and put them somewhere cute. But now we're going to go to probably Target and then Meyer because I got to shoot two more videos. All right, girlies. I'm headed home from Meyer. Oh, my eyes are watering because it was like so windy. I got me a little sandwich to eat on the way, but I just filmed three videos. One I'll get to post today and the other two would just be giraffes. But I'm starving. I also got my drinky drink, my favorite drink. Let's see if I can get my drink going first. I got everything I need for my trip now. The only thing I need to do is order some more cat food. Well, I need to count it out. I might have enough till I get back. But I just want to make sure I have enough wet cat food for them. And maybe go ahead and order some extra litter and dry food too. Just because it won't hurt. Ugh. So good, but I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh, my light screen. Hold that light, baby doll. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. It's okay, give me a second to eat my sandwich. My sandwich. Lately, I've been putting this thing down because 
this part right here is like scratching on my clothes so I either need to take it off and redo it or I'm just putting it down for right now this is the Italian one so it has like um, salami and cheese and turkey What's up, girly? I spent all day just like cleaning my house, getting ready because I'm leaving less than 24 hours. So this is my last like night to stay up, get like a full night sleep at night because I'm going to be leaving tomorrow night, like in the middle of the night. So I don't really know how I'm going to sleep for that yet. I'm just going to figure out as I go. But I got my suitcases out and ready. I don't have anything in them yet, but I just want to show you what I'm working with. These are like my suitcases that I've had for years. I've only got to use them once while traveling, but they're so cute. Then I got this Barbie suitcase right here that Barbie had sent me a while back. So this will hold like all my clothes, hopefully. I was thinking maybe like clothes, maybe some extra clothes, accessories, accessories. I have, so look, I have this makeup bag that has my mirror that I'm definitely going to be using. Definitely going to take that and use it. It also has all this storage down here. I got that from Timu. I got this one. It's an Impressions. I got this from TJ Maxx a long time ago. It was like $20 or at, at TJ Maxx, I think. Was it 20 or was it more? I don't remember, but this is what it looks like. It would hold a lot of makeup, but what if I don't even really need this? Because I put makeup in that and then I had that, and then I have this, so I don't know if all my bathroom stuff will fit in this or if I use this one for all my bathroom stuff, so I might not use this one at all. I haven't decided yet. And then we'll see what I put in there. I got like a lot of just random stuff like first aid kit and things like that. But we need to go around now and we need to collect things. I'm going to do all this like for a TikTok, just like showing me, um, showing what I'm packing and like how I'm doing it. But I need to um, go around and get everything that I want to get together. Ooh, this lighting is like horrible. We're going to start over here in this room because I have a lot of shorts and things that I want from here. So look, I have these shorts from Timu. Definitely taking these, but I got to like throw them in the dryer because look how wrinkly they are. Do you think that they'll have an ironing board there at the hotel? Because that would be really nice. Like, I don't need a lot of these, but I was also thinking of taking these because I have a cute outfit I could wear with this. These shorts. Yeah, you think I'll have an ironing board? If not, you think I can request one? I have an outfit that requires this, but I don't know if I'll even wear it. So I'm kind of just putting it off to the side <clears throat> and I'll decide if I want to or not. I'm either going to, like, I'll try on the outfit, see if it's even cute. But... Should I get some um, satin pants? Like, I'm going to be taking a lot of satin sets. I should take at least one long set, you know? Because whenever I go, it's going to be kind of cloudy some days. I'm so freaking excited to get there, go to the beach, go to the bar. It's going to be so much fun. I'm not taking this Hello Kitty set, but I am going to be wearing this tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll find a time in the day that I'm going to nap in. I'm leaving at like 2 in the morning the next day. Just so I can drive mostly at night because I don't... I've never drove 10 hours. I can't even imagine the thought. Not taking those. I think I'll take these though. These are good just like walking around um, at night. These are like nighttime shorts for me. Um, I just, what was I even saying? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I don't know. I just hope that whenever I drive at night, I'm taking these Victoria's Secret shorts. That it just like kind of powers through, you know. Debating if I want to take these black ones or not because the black set's pretty cute. It's almost like a size too small for me though But I might take it Also thinking of all the content I Used to love these shorts and if we're gonna be so real I like hate them now So I honestly don't think I'm gonna wear these like at all But I'm like maybe I should take them just in case <laughs> Maybe I should take one just in case. Cause I love the fit of them. It's just the color. You know what? I don't. Because I have two other shorts I'm going to be taking instead. I don't need to take way more than I need. I'm going to be taking these shorts. These are really cute and fitting. And I'm going to be taking... I have a pink pair just like that. But I don't know if it's in here or not. I do want to take these black shorts. They're kind of like the purple ones I showed you. But the black color. So I might not take the purple. Because I might take the black. 
Yeah, I really don't think I need this purple set. I am taking this satin set, the pink one. I'm going to edit and post this video either tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure. I don't need these satin shorts. I actually lost, I think I lost the top to that one or got like ruined or something. Um, I should probably take like a pair of pants like this just to have a pair of pants like this. <laughs> I feel like I've already got so much, but what else is in here? Ooh, love these blue shorts. They're so wrinkly though. These will get thrown in the dryer along with the Timu shorts. The jean ones and then put those back let's double check these i'm not gonna take these shorts that i just bought just because i don't even feel like them but maybe one day i will i should probably take not these skinny jeans but my other jeans i know those are wrinkly they stay wrinkly hmm i'm gonna probably take them just in case though um, is, oh, here they are. These are the ones I'm literally talking about. These stay, like, wrinkly. See what I mean? Throw these in the dryer, too. Hopefully it can, like, unwrinkle a bit. I think that's all I need from here. Go ahead and shove all that back in. I think that's all I need from here. Hey, kitty cat, what you doing? Yeah. Go ahead and shove all that back in. Now, I also have a lot of stuff in here like perfumes, skincare in this bathroom, things like that. But let's focus on um, clothes first, I guess. Because I'm going to like just have to hustle all that stuff. Just through those couple idols that were wrinkly in the dryer. I really hope that they have an ironing board there. Not if, I, if not, I hope I can like request one or something. These are my swimming trunks, definitely taking um, some black satin shorts. I really don't know if I want to take this. They don't fit me that great, for being honest. I'll take it for the just in cases. My favorite black shorts. Um, some pretty good Timu black shorts. I might even wear these on the way there. This set. My blue shorts. I don't need these or these. I do need that, that, and that. What do you think I should wear arriving? Should I wear that blue outfit like I was wearing the other day? Or should I wear that all pink outfit that you know? Or should I wear just like one of my what's up really sweatshirts with like shorts? I need your help. What do you think I should wear? I'm gonna take all these. Some of those are my swimming trunks. So I kind of want to like sort things so that whenever I do my TikTok, I can be like, here's what you need for a trip. Like athletic shorts. These are a little wrinkly too. Like I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in. Okay. So let's get all my like satin shorts into a pile. And then these are just like vacation shorts, vacation shorts, pants satin shorts, satin pants, vacation shorts. <laughs> Go ahead and throw these in so they're not any wrinkly. Oh wait, I wanted my pink ones. That was like the other one. This is what I was talking about. Now I'm gonna go put them in the dryer. We'll start with sleep sets. Grab this one, this BB sleep top, another black satin top. These are like for my nighttime chills, like, oh, and my mornings. So like my nights and mornings on the balcony and Stuff like that. I got two more nighttime tops. Morning time, nighttime. So like, should I wear this whenever I go? Or should I wear this whenever I go? Or should I wear something more chill like the What's Up Girlies? What's Up Girly sweatshirt. Take that just for in case, like maybe the way back or something. Grabbed all of my bodysuits and my high neck tank tops. Let's definitely take this one because it matches those shorts I have. Wanna take this really just plain jersey. I'm gonna bring out this jersey. I grabbed a few more things. I got this fuzzy sweater. I got this just like as a little sleep shirt, the princess and the popper. And then I got this, which I'm honestly not sure I'm even gonna wear, but you know, just to 
have just in case I want to. I also want to take lots of cute pictures and stuff too, so you know, I'm just thinking about everything. I grabbed this blue jersey for a blue fit moment. I grabbed two white crop tops and then I grabbed this Playboy jersey. This stuff from the dryer is now done. It got out the wrinkles pretty good. I can, the pants are the worst of it. The other stuff looks way better, but hopefully I can get some of that out while I'm there. Here's the pink shorts. All right, girly, are you ready to see it? I got my cases all together. So whenever we get there, I'll be able to show me, I'll be able to show you me like I'm packing and loading up my drawers there because I'm definitely going to make myself feel at home. These suitcases are so heavy, but this one's mostly my clothes and like accessories that wouldn't fit anywhere else. All my accessories, like laptop, all that stuff, that's all my makeup. That's like some extra makeup. I got my purse, my Michael Kors sunglasses, and I'm going to wear those shoes like whenever I get to the hotel, but I wear my Crocs in the car for that 10 hour drive. I'm out of breath and I'll definitely add like a couple more just clothes pieces, like the shorts that I'm wearing, I want to wash and throw in there. And then the sweatshirt, like maybe wash throw in there for like the right back. Like this is just like a lazy sweatshirt or like one night, but I'm so, so excited. I'm going to end this YouTube video here so I can go ahead and edit and post it before I leave and I can start a new vlog. I can start a new vlog just like before I go and just traveling there. You'll be able to see all that. Maybe I'll edit and post while I'm there. Like, even though it's kind of like work, that's still fun to me. Like, it would be really fun to just sit on my balcony, look at the beach and edit a YouTube video or something. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog and Hilton Head in the next vlog. Are you excited? It like doesn't even feel real to me yet, but I got the suitcases here, so it's real now. It's real now. How cute. I'm gonna miss my baby so, so much, but they're in good hands. They are in very good, my, <clears throat> very good hands. And some people were talking about, um, be careful, like telling people you're going out of town, but <clears throat> I have my security cameras on my neighbors. Like this is the South, like everyone's armed, so like if someone was to try to break in or anything, like you're not getting away with it. Just know that. But anyways, uh, I'm so excited. Please like, please comment, leave me any tips, anything you think I left out that I can still like get real quick before I go. Cause I'm going to post this right, right, right before I leave type deal. Just make sure you got the notification bell ring so that you don't miss my video the next time I post and please subscribe. The goal is to hit 100k before summertime starts. That's the goal. So tell your friend, tell your grandma, like even if they don't use YouTube or if you got two accounts, just like subscribe, you know? <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and being with me until the next one. Bye girly.